Our story begins on a lazy summer afternoon in the deanery garden. Dragonflies dart among the reeds and over the reflecting pool, while grasses sway to and fro under a gentle breeze. You let your eyes drift close just for a moment, enjoying warmth of the sun and the peaceful bird song. when suddenly a commotion snaps you to alertness. Someone has just gone crashing into the hedge around the gazebo, mumbling and worrying aloud. All my stars and whiskers, whatever will we do? We're too late, too late, I say. Oh dear, oh dear. No way. Looking around, you can't imagine where the speaker has gotten to. There's no one near the hedge nor under the gazebo. You're about to call out when a golden gleam catches your eye from the grass. You pick up what appears to be a golden pocket watch. It must have dropped by the worried stranger. Eager to return the lost watch, you step back toward the stone path, and you notice a large opening in the bark of a nearby tree. How strange! You've spent many an afternoon here, and not noticed this particular tree before. Overcome with curiosity, you lean forward into the hole. Oh, what's going on? Where am I? How did I get here? Uh, let me get my bearings, see what I've got to work with. Ooh! That... That me? Must be as mad as a hatter. What's going on around? Oh! Hello! Ooh, I don't like this. Oh dear. You just stay in there now. We'll have no trouble out of you. Just stay in the water. I don't want any trouble. I just want to figure out where I am and go home. Just stay in the water. Just, just drown. That's close enough, I guess. Uh, there's got to be a way around here. Proclamation 192. Keep all doors closed. What on earth? This isn't natural. This isn't good at all. Hello? Hello? That's one mighty door there. By word of the queen, do not open. Don't think I could if I tried. Ugh, what is this? It's a giant glowing mushroom. There's gotta be something to do around here. What, oh, what have we got here? It's like a giant glass table. I reckon I can break glass. It's probably within the rule set of whatever's going on around here. Some sticks, looks like. That'll come in handy. Some cake. Cake is always good, but how does that help me here? Guess I could, in theory, use the lever on one of these doors, but. Which one? This one just looks scary, to be honest. Ooh. I think there's spiders about someplace. I don't like it down here, it's too dark. Guess we don't have much of a choice. Doesn't look like there's anything bad in here. Hmm. Maybe I was overreacting. Doesn't seem to be anything of use in here either, though. Very curious, though. Very curious. Alright. Maybe we'll have better luck someplace else. Let's try this door. 
Hmm. Maybe we won't have better luck over here. Definitely not gonna open that door. That just looks like trouble waiting to happen. Same there. What have we got? No good can come of them. Hmm. This looks like our best bet, I guess. It's a door within a door within a door within a door within a door? That's crazy doorception. As you open the chest, a red chest knight the size of an umbrella stand leaps out, waving a gleaming sword in the air. Dear God, you saved me! She's gone mad! Mad! Arm yourself quickly! They're all about now! Before you can get in a word edgewise, the knight charges off into a side passage that is much too small for you to follow. Hmm. Well, that was an odd occurrence. Uh, you don't really see that happening every day. Guess I can go ahead and take his swords, though. I'm sure he won't mind. A bit of a fighting chance that should give me. I don't think I need the clock out. Although I do need to hold on to it. It's the only reason I'm here is to return to that crazy little hare. Or rabbit or whatever he was. Don't see why I can't take this wool here. Could be useful later on. Maybe I should make me some torches. I think that would be alright. Doesn't look like I need him just yet though. It looks like I need to be ready for a fight. Alright buddy. I don't know who you are or what your deal is. Don't know why you got a beef with me, but I don't intend to fight unless I have to, so... You could get out of my way, but it doesn't seem like you seem to want to do that, so never mind. Just eat sword. This is a bizarre staircase. Ugh. Oh. Interesting floor. Interesting indeed. How far up does this place go? It's kind of hard to hold my breath in all this. Oh. What is this? <sighs> What's going on? Glass? Ice? Whoa! Hello there, how are you? Again, I come in peace. Don't know how you fare, but... Don't want to hurt anybody. Oh! You just stay where you are now. Woo! You heard me. Don't don't come any closer. I'll turn you to strings. Oh man. What's back here? Ah. Looks like we might have found the queen spider. Yes, sir. Takes care of that. What a strange place this is. It's all snow and what is that? Oh my. Caucus race? Postponed on account of spiders. Hmm. It seems the inhabitants of this strange land are under siege and have fled into hiding. Someone has left behind their bathing apparel. Amongst the sponges and pink fluffy towels in the chest, you find a pair of bathing caps monogrammed with the curious names Tweedledee and Tweedledum. I'm sure whoever this Tweedledee and Tweedledum person is, they won't mind me taking some of their helmets there. Strange creatures afoot, and a, a Mad Hatter can't be seen without a good hat. Uh, let's see, maybe if I go this way. Some lovely flowers, that's always a good sign. Looks like there's some bit of a road left here. Maybe if I follow it, it'll take me someplace useful. Like a giant sign on the wall that says, Wall property of H. Dumpty Esquire. Oh, I hear spiders. Whoa! Oh dear. Ugh, get back. Is there another spider queen in here? Yes, sirree. These things are everywhere. Oh, and it's getting dark. I need to find a place to spend the night or something. Guess I could always take up in one of these trees, but. Sure, there's a village or something nearby. If I just keep following these torches, I ah, what have we got here? Oh, another spawner. Ugh. 
Looks like we got a house. With some gardening supplies. Ooh. Alright, let's just get inside before it gets too dark. This is the, uh... The White Rabbit! Excellent! Mr. White Rabbit! I'm here to, uh... I'm here to return- you. You're not the White Rabbit! You lied to me! Oof! Oh, goodness. Oh, man. Looks like he wasn't the only one. What have we got here? Random music blocks? I don't like the sound of this. Oh! Friend or foe? Neutral, it seems. What have we got here? Well, it's dark. It's raining. I seem to be safe. Might as well take a nap. Of course I can't. Looks like I'm going to have to take care of these things. Oh! The end of the bath you go with you. I'm draining you. These fellows seem friendly enough. I don't think I need to worry about them. Although, I don't think I should let them just wander around either. Can I take a nap now? Sorry, guys, but it looks like I'm going to have to take you out. It's for the sake of sleep, please, you must understand. You must understand. You must understand. You could just leave, you know. Is that all of them? Do I hear more? Oh, dear. There's plenty more, actually. Where are they coming from? I thought I took out all the spawners. Ouch. That was not kind. No idea where they're coming from now. Oh, what have we here? Aha! Understood. Hiding in the closet, I see. Well, it's time for you to come out of the closet and fess up. Time for me to get some shut-eye. It's late, and I'm tired, and I've got no idea what's going on. This strange world with strange creatures. 